Good morning, everyone. I'm in Woodburn, New York, and this synagogue behind me was an old Orthodox synagogue. And unfortunately, there weren't enough people to keep it open, and they had closed it. And this Hasidic Jew by the name of Rabbi Youngreis, it's actually a cousin of Rabbi Sinesta Youngreis, came along, reached out to the president, and said, there are a lot of people who could use this shul, could we reopen it? And today, without exaggeration, thousands of people a day come to pray here. There are multiple minions upstairs, downstairs, outside, in front of the building. It's literally what you would call a minion factory, non-stop from 6 a.m. till midnight, of thousands of people coming to pray each and every day. And I was talking to the rabbi this morning, Rabbi Youngreis, and he said to me something beautiful that I'm going to take with me. He said, in life you have to do, you have to act. He said, I was driving by, I saw this abandoned synagogue. He said, you can't think too much. He says, you have to work without cheshbonot, which means without calculations. Just do, don't calculate so much. Why? Because he says, if you start calculating, you're going to find a lot of mistakes. In other words, when you start adding things up, you can say, this doesn't make sense, this can't work. You're going to come up with all the reasons why it can't work. Don't calculate so much because you're going to find mistakes. You're going to say it doesn't add up and you won't do it. Just act, just do, and when you do, God will bless you. This week's Torah portion begins with the words, See, I place before you a blessing and a curse. And part of the Torah portion talks about kosher animals and non-kosher animals, kosher fish and non-kosher fish, kosher birds and non-kosher birds. And one of the non-kosher birds is the chasida. Now the word chasidah means the kind one. And the question is, we know that chesed, kindness, is such an important pillar in Judaism. So if we're supposed to be kind, why would the bird that's called the kind bird be an unkosher bird? And the rabbis say because this bird performs kindness with her friends. And the rabbis underscore and point out that a person who only does kindness with their family and friends that's not true kindness. True kindness is shown unconditionally to any person and every person. But if your kindness is limited to your circle of friends and family members, that's not kosher. That's not a kind bird. When we were coming, I was coming back from Israel, I was sitting next to this elderly couple who had come from Florida as well to Israel. And they were so inspired. It was their first trip ever to Israel. He told me how emotional he was. He was crying at the Western Wall at the Kotel. And he had a, such an inspiring, uplifting trip, him and his wife. They couldn't stop talking the whole flight. But then just in passing, I said to them, you went with your uh, temple. I, we also just led a temple congregational trip. Tell me, uh, how, how was the bonding on the trip between the members of the congregation from Fort Lauderdale? And suddenly he became very serious. And he looked at me with sadness in his face. And he said, well, that was the only disappointment. He says there were a lot of cliques on the group. People were sitting with one another, with certain friends at dinner, sitting apart from one another. And we didn't feel this connection to the group as a whole. There was no unity amongst the group. And my heart sank because on our trip, thank God, in Palm Beach Synagogue, there was such a bond. Everyone was looking out for one another. Everyone was offering to help. If someone needed something, everyone on the bus said, I could give you this, I could help you with that. And it's so true that you can have the most spiritual experiences, but if it isn't with a feeling of unison, of oneness, of connection, there's no chesed that transcends your circle and sphere of friends, then it's not true chesed, and therefore it's such a bird that only does kindness with their neighbors is not a kosher bird. Praying in the synagogue this morning, as you see behind me, there's an abandoned movie theater. But right next to the abandoned movie theater is a thriving synagogue. The Jewish people have always had the unity and the love for one another. And it's that connection to God, but also love for one another, that transcends just our family and friends, but it's to every single person who is in need. Kindness, that is the bedrock, the foundation of the Jewish people. That's what keeps us spiritually, emotionally, kosher, happy, and healthy. Have a wonderful day.